guys, and welcome back to another episode of AFC Greg's. And why am I wearing headphones? I don't need headphones for Greg's episodes. This is what you wanted to see, isn't it, guys? Beautiful bald head. Ah, oh, play some slow motion music over the top as I stroke my baldness. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> can't start an episode like that I, I fudge it i am i am welcome back to another episode of greg's this is episode three in the series if you haven't seen any of the episodes before feel free to go and watch them somewhere over here there'll be a linky thing that pops up probably to the first episode because that's the one that you probably should see otherwise you should be able to pick it up throughout it's just a football manager series with a creative team in the seventh tier it's a lot of fun and uh, we have a good amount of fun here so we're going to start with how we have done while you have been away. So this is all the friendlies that we played. You've seen this. And then we started last episode with a 2-1 victory over Atherton Collieries, which was a very good victory for us. We were 2-0 up pretty early on in the game. And then we won 3-0 against Nantwich in our first game at home. Not a bad start. We did all right. Pretty happy with how we've been doing so far. A couple of our players have been very good. And then we come to how we've done for the start of the season. We've started okay. Like, it looks better than it actually is. Because we're struggling to score goals. That's one thing. We've drawn quite a lot of games. So, in, in the actual league, we won the first two games, and we've drawn every single game since. So, it's, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. We won in the FA Cup first qualifying round and then unfortunately we got knocked out, which is kind of annoying because that's what I wanted to bring you in this episode. I wanted to bring you FA Cup third qualifying round match, but we got knocked out. So we'll do that next season. We do have a double cup for you in this episode. We have the Northern Premier Cup second round where we are playing Grantham, who I think are in our league. Yes, they're in our league. And then also in our league... We have Hyde, who we've already played and drawn 1-1 with. Johnny Insan, by the way. Johnny Insan has been fantastic. The big man up front. Definitely my star of the season so far. He's been fantastic. Um, so today we're going to play Grantham and then we're going to play Hyde in the FA Trophy first round and the Northern Premier Cup second round. Um, so let's take a look at the team. There's a couple of things to notify you about here. In fact, let's go into the squad because it's easier to see what the problem is here and we have a bit of a left back crisis so our main left back Tony Hope got injured and then got injured again so he got injured for the second game I think in the last episode he's then got injured again and this one is a, a little bit more serious it's a four month injury um with a broken foot not great um and then so we brought in Jack Randall and Jack Randall started to play and then he has also got injured now and he has got a sixth month broken lower leg. Lovely. Our left backs love to break bones. You hate to see it. Hornsby as well, also a long term injury. He is out for nine months with a damaged cruciate ligament injury. So it's not going very well with the injuries at the moment. But we have brought in a couple of players to kind of bulk us out in those positions. Uh, so we've brought in Aidan Austin, who is our substitute left back for a bit. He's just kind of rounded. He's just kind of like playing a centre mid there. He's just kind of average. And then we've brought in Kieran Charlton. Now, Kieran Charlton is actually a centre back. Um, that's what the media description of him is. That's what the loan, the people that have loaned him to me want him to play, Blythe. But he's five foot three. So funnily enough... We're not going to play him at centre-back because that's ridiculous. And he's actually been very good for us at left-back. Acceleration 10, at pace 10, uh, marking, tackling. His passing's decent. Work rate's good. Crossing. Molto uh, bene. He's got a couple of... Uh, the one assist in the league so far in four appearances. He, he's done all right. He's done all right. And it was a very nice assist as well. Bomb the ball over the top for Yin San to flick over the goalkeeper. Fantastic. So, let's get into our first game then. And... Uh, we can pick two more substitutes in this game, which is quite nice. So, I'm going to bring in the McCundy brothers um, on the subs bench. And uh, that's going to be the team pretty much what we're going for. Right, here's something that I wasn't actually expecting to get done before this next game. Uh, Lewis Archer is a striker that we've brought in. Um, he's quite good. And I'm very impressed with this stat in particular. First touch, 14. So if we bomb the ball over the top to him, he's six foot one, by the way, and still has 14 acceleration and 11 pace. 
bomb the ball over the top to him. He can control the ball really well, and then eight and seven on finishing composure is not the end of the world. We're going to get him in. We're going to get him in, especially as Williamson, who I was playing as our substitute striker, uh, Ellis Williamson here, who is quite good. His first touch, not quite as good. And he scored a couple of goals early on, but he's not been good since. He's very struggled to score, and Molas has struggled to score as well, despite the fact that his preseason was fantastic. Molas now has decided that he can't score goals. Literally scored nine goals in preseason, and he scored zero for us for the rest of the season. You know, you win some, you lose some. And he's the type of player that I also looked at his first touch and pace and stuff and thought, yes, that's who I want. So maybe I've made the wrong decision there, but we will see. So that's who we're going to play in this next game. We're going to test him in the cup games and then hopefully he can do it in the league as well. Right, so this is going to be the start of the next match. We're going to put Archer right into that right striker position straight away. I'm going to have Molas on the bench and I'm going to drop Ellis Williamson. Although Molas, Molas hasn't scored and Williamson has, Williamson's missing a lot more chances. Molas just isn't really getting the chances so far. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, whereas uh, Arch is going to come in and hopefully he can do very well from that position. Is he? He's right only footed, which is not great, but the struggle to get a left-footed striker in this league is actually pretty real. Uh, Hurst can play Sumner Coburn. So Hurst and Coburn and the 16-year-old lads. Uh, Healy's obviously our DM who got sent off in one of our games. Sumner right mid. Charlton the new boy. Isaac Ward the left-footed centre-back. Malokwu the beast of a 6 foot five centre-back. And Donny Longa Longa who's actually proved himself to be pretty good at right back. And then Emery in goal who actually saved us in a penalty shootout in the cup game uh, later on. But let's see how we do with this game then come on gregs in the northern league cup basically the the cup for our league our area um i think it has teams in the leagues below as well but we have drawn the team in our own league hopefully we can get a win and into the next round because it's the kind of thing that we should probably be looking at winning mainly for a money kind of reason so you know let's do well in this game having said that let's get an early encourage on the team because Nothing's happened so far, which you love to see. Not creating chances is like the trend of this season so far. Started really well. Here's a chance though. Sumner whips the free kick in towards the pox and it's poor and it's straight into the hands of Sesse, the goalkeeper uh, for Grantham. He has a chance to boot the ball over the top, which I imagine he will do. He does indeed. It's going to be collected by Malukwu. He needs to wake up a little bit though. Emery clears away on the pass back, headed back in. Barrett. He comes forward. Really nice pass to Dyer. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Must be a goal. Good save. I mean, it's a poor finish, to be totally honest. We'll take the good save anyway from Emery. 0-0. Throw in then. Higgins throws the ball into Stobbs. Good tackle from Longa Longa. And Archer picks the ball up now. He plays in Coburn. Coburn comes through with Ian-San. Lovely ball from Ian-San. And Archer just wasn't really there. Which is a bit of a shame. Cleared by Ward. And uh, Hurst is going to come and pick the ball up on the left-hand side. The 16-year-old. Can he get his ball into the box? It hits his first man and Dyer can counter-attack now. There's a lot of this in this league. Oh, Healy, careful. You've already been sent off so once this season. Jeez. Archer is through, though. Archer shoots. It's a goal. It's disallowed. For goodness sake. Oh, that's a shame. I thought that was his first goal. A very nice little ball through, but he must have just been offside. Coburn with a free kick, though. Smashes it towards the far post. Jeez. That would have been a fantastic free kick from Coburn corner then we have looked dangerous from corners this season Hurst into Ward headed down and that's going to be a handball and the end of the highlight great taking away to half time then and that is going to be half time at nil nil in the cup so far neither team are really in it with a sub 0.5 xg nobody really looks like they want it um so I'm going to say I'm not happy with that and we're going to look at some tactical changes perhaps Let's bring on the McKendy brothers, I think. I'm going to bring on... Uh, which one's the six foot seven one? Vinny McKendy at target man. And Henock McKendy at advanced forward. I want to see if the, the brothers can play together. Maybe we can get a McKendy brothers thing going. H who knows? Who knows? Uh, and Aidan Austin is probably going to come on as well, but not yet. Early chance here. Throw in from Charlton. Hurst comes away with the ball. Can he get the ball into the box? He hit, usually hits the first man. He doesn't this time. McKendy! Oof, over the top. Little bounce off the top of the crossbar there. Interesting to see him getting in there though. Six foot seven. You'd think he'd win some headers. 55 minutes now gone. Emery clears the ball over the halfway line to Higgins. 
Uh, Stobbs gets past his man and plays it to Hollingsworth. Higgins now. Stobbs for Grantham. Higgins has a chance to play it down the wing. Chooses not to, but Hong Hollingsworth manages to do so. Stobbs on the edge of the penalty area. Higgins now. Can Higgins get the ball into the box? He can. Teray must be a goal. And Greggs are now losing. And it's not great. Not great defending. Let them have too much of the ball. And uh, Grantham have got the goal. And it looks like... Oh, McKendy's already injured as well. It looks like we're going to go out of the cup. Ticking away into the 80s. And it doesn't look like we're going to get anything, unfortunately. Although there is a corner. Can we clear it away? We do. Who's going to pick it up? Go on. Sprint. Run. Oh, who is that? Coburn, man. No effort at all. I'm not liking that. We need some more players with more work ethic here. Sumner down the right-hand side. Lovely ball into Molas. Molas, can he break his goal duck? He shoots into the hands of Sesse. Dragged the ball too far wide. It wasn't the best of pieces of control from Molas. And that is going to be the full-time whistle. And Greggs are out of the Northern League Cup trophy. Not great from us in that game. Pretty poor performance. Not happy with the performance. We didn't really look like scoring. Neither did they, though, to be fair. It's pretty nil-nil kind of game. But, um, yeah, well, on, on to the next cup game anyway. McKendy is out for six weeks with the calf strain. To be fair, we don't really play him. That was kind of me giving him a chance. He didn't really do anything. I'm quite happy to not play the McKendy brothers in. It's not working out, is it, really? So, you know, we move and we play someone else. Right, so this is how we're going to line up for this next game in the FA Challenge Trophy. Powell's coming back into the team, who is our central attacking midfielder. He is a very good player. He's done all right so far. Not getting goals, but just he looks dangerous at all times. Um, so I'm glad to have him back in the team. Patience is going to come in at left mid to try and take a few more corners, because we need to get the corners into the box, because when we don't have him in the team, we don't get any chances from corners. So I'd like to have him in. Needs to be done. Um, and then we've gone with Holmes instead of Healy at DM to try and give him a bit of game time because he's really been second fiddle apart from when Healy got sent off earlier in the season. So that's what we're going to go with. Right into the game again. And we are at the bakery today for Greg's our home ground. And uh, hopefully we can get the win. Early encourage, I think, is a good thing to do early on in the game. It seems to inspire your team to have a good start to the game. In the games that I haven't done it, We've struggled. Now, Tobias Hales Doherty is playing on the other team, and uh, he is a player I am familiar with from this non league um, when I've played a Havilland Waterlooville save. Holmes out wide to Patience. Patience into the penalty area. Malas! It disallowed again. Oh my god. The amount of goals that he has that are disallowed are ridiculous. Could have been 1 0 up then, and it could have been Malas breaking his duck and getting into form for us, which is a bit of a shame. It is offside, to be fair, there for Patience. Throw in to Hyde now. Lane. Good. Um, penalty? That's outside the box, surely. Oh, for goodness sake. I thought that was well outside the box. Young is going to step up. Good penalty. 1-0 to Hyde. It's not great. It's not great from us, is it really? Sliding in like that. Like I didn't think it was a penalty, but it's a good penalty anyway. Irvin. Chips the ball over the top in search of someone. Longer, longer does not deal with it very well, but Charlton manages to get his foot through it. Nice little header across from Ian San. Molas picks the ball up. He needs to do something magical or get something lucky, really. He shoots. Probably shouldn't shoot from there. He does that quite a lot, where he drifts too far right and tries to shoot across the goalkeeper and just goes straight into the goalie's hands. It's not been great from his decision-making so far this season. Going to tick through to half-time then, and it is 1-0 to Hyde, and it's not been a very good performance for either side, really. We've had more of the chances, and Hyde's XG does flatter them because it is literally, as you can see by this one vertical line, is literally just a penalty. That's the only thing they've really done. So um, we are the better team, but we, we do need to show something in the second half, and I'm looking at who we need to sub off. We probably need to sub off Malukwu, who is looking kind of tired, which isn't great from our big 17-year-old centre-back. Um, and I'm probably going to sub off Patience as well, just because... Uh, he is booked and uh, not been playing particularly well. 6.3 is not great. Um, let's see what those two subs can do for now. Throw in then. Tongue is going to throw it into James. Tongue plays the ball into the penalty area and it's really poor defending. And Lane's just nicked in front of the centre-backs. And it looks like we're going out of this cup as well. This was not a good episode. 
unfortunately, injuries, defeats, knocked out of all of the trophies except for... In fact, yeah, we're knocked out of all of the trophies now. It's not great. It's not great, is it really? It's not great. Laird with maybe a late chance to get something. And Yinsan plays it into Malas. Malas, can he break his duck? He can. And this time he's on side. We get a goal. We're going to push for this now. We want to stay in the trophy. Well played from Yinsan. Laird, nice ball over the top. Good flick on from Yinsan, which is what he's there for. Malas goes through one on one. Nice little tap in. Good goal. Right, let's push for this. It's going to be a free kick in a really good position. Coburn is going to take it. He's not had the best of records with them so far this season. It's saved. It's going to be a corner. Can we do something from this corner? We've got some big lads. I've bought big lads deliberately. Powell with the corner. Whips it in towards the near post. It's okay, but it's headed away. Holmes is going to pick it up. Back out to Powell. Powell tries to get the ball in, and Hales Doherty can come away with the ball now. And he is quick and tall, and he's going to beat his man. And he's going to go to the edge of the box. Good tackle, and that's going to be the end of the highlight. Late chance here. Power with a free kick. Whips the ball into the penalty area. Ward heads across. It's in. It's offside. What? What? Wait, what? What for? Show me again, please. Show me again. I mean, they're all offside now. Oh, it's well offside. What am I on about? Why am I complaining? And he's a lovely header. It really is. But that could be the final nail in the coffin as we tick through into the last five minutes of the game now into the extra time four minutes added on we're not going to get another chance that's going to be full time and we are out of another trophy and it looks like it's all about the league this year and at the moment we're not going to do very well in that so it could be a very muted opening season for greg's here and i'm not sure we're going to be able to challenge for promotion in our first season which is what i kind of was aiming for uh, so as you can see we've got a couple of games in hand and we sit in sixth with two wins four draws and zero losses it's not great from us but at the same time it's also not the end of the world Malas does end his goal streak which is good to see we're going to praise his performance to try and keep him in it and keep him going but uh yeah that is going to be probably the end of the episode i really hope you've enjoyed this episode as you can see it's not just going to be me winning all the time although it did seem a little bit like that from the first episode I'm a little bit worried that it was going to be we'd just breeze this league and it wouldn't be a very interesting first season so in some ways i'm glad that we've lost a couple of games now at the same time it's going to be a fight we haven't lost yet in the league fingers crossed we can continue that the next time i'll bring you in actually i'm just going to show you actually um is we'll probably bring you in back here on saturday the 26th of december so boxing day just before the january transfer window when i have a kind of idea what we're going to do with the january transfers but we are playing fc united of manchester who are our rivals in this league they're a local team they're going to be our rivals so the next one that we see will be a local rival derby match should be a good one should be an entertaining one they're second at the moment they're a team that are pushing for promotion as well and if we're up there as well it's a big game so i hope you can get behind that episode when it comes out episode four sometime this weekend probably although i am going to the football this weekend portsmouth versus fleetwood town i hope to see any of you there that are pompey fans um should be a good one first time i've been back in a football stadium for like two years so it should be amazing um hope you enjoyed this episode thank you very much for watching if you did please leave a like all of my links down there to like my twitch and stuff are down there as well i stream three times a week loads more content for you if you are liking the channel i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one goodbye and be kind to one another see you later